Hallo, guten Tag. Willkommen auf Jogs Cast. Uh, ich, ich bin Honeyju. I am here speaking in my um, my camp. How you say German accent uh, auf uh, Deutschland? Um, I'm sorry. Um, I I went a bit German there, a bit camp German. Um, the reason for my speaking uh, auf auf Deutsch is that we are we're off to Gamescom in um in the Germany in Cologne in Germany I have never been abroad before I've never been on a plane before I've never been to a a games conference before uh it's uh, it's scary it's very very scary indeed um I'm showing you this is the little world that I've been playing in Minecraft lately um a very odd seed that I found very odd indeed a sort of hollowed out mountain that I've made my little home here it's nice isn't it um let's see the back entrance there so yeah games gamescom rep <laughs> representing uh mojang uh, because Notch has gotten married and he's far too busy to uh, to do silly publicity and stuff. He's busy living the married life. Um, I had an idea. I don't know if I'll go through with it. Um, for my birthday, I don't know if you've seen the video at all. You probably haven't. Oh, crap. Um, but for my birthday, I got given a an Indiana Jones hat. Um, and Notch famously wears a a hat. Um, I've taken to wearing a hat now and again as well. Uh, not because it makes me look cool, but because um, I'm starting to go slightly thin up top. I'm 33 years old. I'm starting to get a little bit thin up there. It's the only place I'm going thin, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to represent Mojang. <laughs> uh, standing in for them at the, the Sony Ericsson booth playing a bit of Minecraft on their little mobile device things the Xperia we're not getting paid we haven't sold out uh, well we <laughs> we have sold out a little bit because they're paying for the trip I guess <laughs> but it's gonna be amazing because we're gonna meet all sorts of people there might meet Athene that would be awesome Meet some people from Blizzard and NCSoft and other games companies are available. Um, wow. Isn't it going to be exciting? Um, something I wanted to show you in this world. <gasps> Look at that. Look what I've built over there. That's what I've been avoiding showing you people. Um, oh god, where's my my flying device? I could have sworn I had a a little thing, a little airship. I'm just gonna have to swim over there. Oh dear! So I've been playing with the yog box, and I looked online for something cool to build, and on um, Kev blog, I think it's called Kev blog. He posted these all these different schematics including a wizard tower with a side tower and there's a really clever piece of software that sort of gives you like a floor by floor plan of how you lay it out and look at this doesn't this look cool it's nine stories tall it's amazing this is cobblestone with the SMP pack that you get with the yog box. Uh, look at that over there. That's my little, my ruins, my portal. This is where I keep dirt and stuff. Oh, all the dirt's gone. Someone's stolen it. So I'll show you inside my wizard tower. Let's have a look at this. This is uh, where I keep all of the, the stuff that I farmed. <laughs> I've been busy. Fossils that you get. That's part of the peaceful pack 
which is part of the Yog box. Um, Jack o' Lantern. Flax. The uh, the texture for flax seeds a little bit broken because I wanted the texture of water to be different. So don't worry about that. Uh, flax again, part of peaceful pack and the uh, Yog box. Um, hearts and heart containers and stuff that you pick up from dungeons. Different ores that you get with mystic ores. Look at all these bloody bricks that I've managed to put together. I don't know what to do with them. I don't know what to do with all these bricks. They're going to be another project. And all this diamond and all the mystic ore, mystic gems stuff. Yeah, I've been busy. I've been busy, it's fair to say. So I've colour coded. The first three floors I've made sort of red. Uh, don't worry about the uh, the lack of furnishings. I mean, give me a break here. I've only just, I've only just made this place. Uh, side tower sort of starts here. The yellow floors. I made it brown. The uh, I need a bit more brown wool. Cocoa beans, a real bastard to get. Because they they haven't there's no real source of getting them other through other than through um, chests in dungeons. So I've been lucky to get as much as I have. Oh, uh, oh, isn't it lovely? Big empty tower. Um, it's not always empty. Sometimes I find rats up here, which I think are part of Dr. Zark's Mo creatures. So it's it's delightful to be playing at night. There's like rolling thunder and rain coming down. Oh my god, this is cloud, I guess. Jeez. Suddenly you hear squeaking and you're like, oh, I'm not alone. Sometimes you hear weird sort of howling noises. I don't know. I don't know what that was. This is my roof. Show you the view. Wow. See the the water texture and colours and isn't it strange? I love it. One of one of the things that peeves me a bit about vanilla Minecraft, I will confess, is water textures. They look so terrible and so unrealistic. So it's good to have it looking lovely. Because there's water everywhere in this game. And I want it to look decent. Floating island over there, can you see? I have to sort of look out the corner of my eye at it. Because look, it disappears if you look too close. Uh, there's absolutely nothing on that floating island. There's usually dungeons, um, but there was nothing there. Um, it's a lovely world, isn't it? I'll have to try and find the seed out for this. I mean, the hollowed out um, mountain over there, which is where my house is at the start of the video. I mean, that was amazing to come across that. Amazing. Uh, let's repair the roof. Go back down. So yeah, Gamescom. Um, I am absolutely terrified. I don't know what it's going to be like. I, I, I'm going to be completely reliant on other people looking after me, I think, and showing me where I should be going. And sort of going, you know, Simon, go over there, stand there. That's good. I'd, <laughs> I don't even know what hotel we're going to be at. I know we're going to Cologne, which is in Germany. And I know that we've got all these interviews lined up with game developers. There's some indie people who've done kind of cool games that we're interested in. There's some of the big guys. A lot of the big guys haven't gotten back to us because they are insanely busy organising like <laughs> big games that have just come out. Um, Blizzard and Valve, I'd love to hear from them. We're meeting someone from Blizzard, as it is. And, well, with any luck. Uh, but yeah, we've got interviews lined up with with other people. And the idea is to film them uh, <laughs> and upload them. So you're going to see live action video 
of me or Lewis, depending on who decides to do the interviewing and who decides to go behind the camera, interviewing actual people who design video games. I don't know how this is going to work. Both me and Lewis, we, we do have a, a, a journalistic background. Um, mine was, wasn't was anywhere near professional, I'll be honest with you. Lewis did have a good sort of professional journalism job for a while. Um, not writing about games, uh, but writing about chemists. Uh, so <laughs> there you go. God, how is it going to work? I mean, we interviewed Will Cook before. Um, Will Cook, who is a dynamic content designer at um, NC Soft with Rift. Uh, Rift, it's one of those games that I wish I'd played more of. But it's an MMO, and MMOs are such a horrendous time sink that I, I just I couldn't commit to it. But I had a nice sort of female dwarf hunter, much like I did in a certain other very large MMO that ultimately every single other MMO in existence gets compared to. What a Warcraft. Uh, oh god. So this is um this is the nether in the yog box. This is what it looks like. You may notice that there's some weird sort of different coloured things up there. See that little thing? It's where you get weird sort of gems from. The mystic gems. Uh, like down there. Kind of looks like a diamond block, doesn't it? And this is soul sand, which is why I'm going really, really slowly. Uh, as you can notice, there's a, there's a lack of ghasts. I, um, I did turn the difficulty down. Maybe I should turn it back up. Just to see what happens. Of course, mobs don't spawn instantly around you. I can hear the singing of ghasts. What do pigmen look like? As long as I don't... Oh, God. Hello there. Hello there, little fella. Are you excited about Gamescom? Are you? <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Um, yeah, there was something else I was going to announce as well. The, um, the Yog Box is going to go into 1.0 non-beta soon. I'm um, not entirely sure when be honest with you. Uh, there's still a, a few things that have to be sorted out but the big new thing, the big new content I will just put the difficulty back down <laughs> again the, uh, the big new content, the big new addition to the Yog Box is going to be Tom's RPG mod which allows you to um, level up skills um, it's, it's a difficult a difficult mod to sort of live with it adds a whole new layer to the game um, for example you can't use certain tools until you've leveled up your ability to use them properly so it makes the game a lot more difficult <laughs> a lot more difficult to uh, to get by with Oh, I've got a different, um, a different skin. A few people have noticed my strange skin. A sort of old honeydew. Ugh! That's my... See? Old knackered honeydew. Blind in one eye. Scarred. Battle scarred. What could it mean? What could it mean? What do you think? Boys and girls, what do you think? Um, should also say that um, Shadow of Israfel, we are still going to be making them, don't worry. It's just that at the moment, it's summer, right? It's August. Everyone has been going on holiday, 
Lewis has been go- going on holiday. He's gone on holiday like three times. Um, to nowhere exotic. Uh, just sort of like seeing friends and family and stuff. Uh, so I'm just sort of like left here with um, Mr. Mr. Whiskers' uh, fuzzy tail. Whiskery fuzzy, fuzzy tail. That's the name of my pet rabbit. Um, actually, I remember what happened before with rabbits. Come here. <laughs> Not gonna have that happen again. <laughs> oh God. So yeah, maybe I'll see some of you at, at the Gamescom. Um, I'll be looking probably a little bit sheepish and embarrassed. I'll probably say a few ridiculous things. I'll probably look quite sweaty and tired. If you see me wandering around, uh, and you're like, "Is that Simon from the Yogs Cast? Is can, is that Simon?" Uh, remember the greeting when you see me or Yognaut. You say, "I'm Dave Yognaut, and I have the balls." That's what you do, and then you salute. Just just be careful what kind of salute you do, because we'll be in Germany and. Uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't even allude to that. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah. A lot going on. And I'm I'm terrified. But it's very exciting. Very exciting. Uh, so, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this little sort of bloggy, weird video. I don't know what this was. Uh, it, it, it certainly was something, wasn't it? I covered a lot, I feel. I feel this was good. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thank you. Love you. Bye.